Claude Green, that'll get you jailed. Yeah, I feel like this sells more confined than a man of Anstone's piggery. But anyway, on to science fiction news now. And gee, it's a great time to be a nerd at the moment with the brand new series of Doctor Who, now screening on the ABC. Oh, yes, and we've got a very special treat for Whovians tonight with the launch of a new music video by the president of the Doctor Who fan club of Wollongong. Yo, Doctor Who is back. <laughs> See if you can recognise this music. It's the theme music. I can hardly step outside. It's all that I can do to hide the fact that I'm a fan of Doctor Who. I even earned a special mention when I dressed up at the fan convention as a Cyberman from season 22. <laughs> Doctor Who. <laughs> My friends say that I'm retarded just because I've built a model TARDIS and pretend I'm chasing Daleks through space and time. Exterminate! Exterminate! I don't know why, but people laugh when I show them the autograph I got from the actor who did the voice of K9. It's hard to get a screw when you're a fan of Doctor Who. <laughs> His female companions, I love them all. They're stuck all over my bedroom wall. My favourite ones are Ace and Sarah Jane. And when I go to shop at the ABC, I don't just stop at the DVDs. I also buy books from the Doctor Who novel range. All the girls say, ooh, he's a fan of Doctor Who. <laughs> I'm always sure to ask the question out of all the doctors, who's the best one? Whenever I meet up with a fellow fan. Was it William Hartnell, Peter Cushing, Patrick Trout, and John Pertwee, Tom Baker, Peter Davison, Colin Baker, Sylvester McCoy, Christopher Eccleston, David Tennant, Richard E. Grant, who only played the role in the 40th anniversary BBC interactive webcast adventure, or Paul McGann? <laughs> Well, I couldn't fit it in the song, but my favourite script editor is Robert Holmes. You don't score much when you're a fan of Doctor Who. It's the theme music again. 